I'd been put into Birmingham, which is quite a difficult town, really, actually. It's like in the middle of the industrial Midlands. And then it's like, OK, now the next, you, you've got to go back to meet the goddess, and the goddess is here for loving her. So I wasn't necessarily always on my path, but I was choosing not to go down other paths. So I was saying, right, OK, you know, after university, I'm staying here, you know, because this is where I, I've actually felt a relationship to the earth. You know, I'm, I'm 62 now, but I mean, it was only like the year before last when I actually was on this land. And it really helps to be on a piece of land because kind of, you're healing the land and it's healing you. And I did actually, yeah, suddenly realise that, you know, I feel happy here, I feel loved, you know. I love this place and it loves me. And that was, you know, that's a very simple statement. Mm -hmm. But it took me until I was 62, yeah, to say that, to feel it, you know. And we got up there. So yeah, and this, so, so from being feeling guilty about how we live on the earth and getting other people to how to work out how to allay any damage we might cause, I see the opposite. We've got an abundant earth that loves us and wants us to live with it. And for me, that's just a completely different reality. And that's how I want to live. If I tell someone about the way John lives, this person will have mm -hmm. uh, its own ideas or old, uh, own uh, prejudices and, and will interpret. But if this person sees by herself, yeah. it's mm. completely different. Mm. It's, yeah. yeah it, it shows that something else is possible, not that. Yeah, part of them are thinking um, positively about the future is that I feel that the truth will out. The truth will always prevail. The truth is a kind of such a pure force. And with truth goes integrity, you know, so integrity will prevail. But maybe I'm naive. <laughs>